哈佛大学最著名的教授 Michael Sandel 在哈佛大学的哲学系授课。他原来呢是学政治学的，学 Political Science， 后来在哈佛大学教书，教正义这堂课程。广受欢迎，这使得哈佛大学打破了过去的惯例，第一次把课堂录制成电视节目。他现在跟日本的 NHK 电台，还有跟中国大陆的很多学校都有合作。这一次来台湾，他是先从日本，然后到台湾接受文化部的邀请，接着马上到厦门大学，到上海。然后在北京大学进行演讲，在台湾有一场呢，他在台大小巨蛋跟六千名台湾的学子的谈话。这场演讲呢，并不是他个人作为一个大使的演讲，几乎可以是重现我们许多人所看到他在哈佛大学里头上课 justice 的那种很有魅力的风范，像一个摇滚明星一般出场。而他在整个 justice 正义里头，最重要要告诉他一个观念，就是往往你的直觉。你以为是正义的事情，根本不是正义。来看这堂六千名学子和他这位像摇滚明星一样的教授的这一堂课。台大小巨蛋六千人挤得满满的，哈佛大学教授麦克桑德站在 T 型舞台上，享受摇滚巨星般的待遇。你好嘛？亚大贵，体验一下苏格拉底式的哲学思辨吧。And it snows. It sells snow shovels for ten dollars. And then one day there's a great blizzard. Enormous amounts of snow. Everybody needs a snow shovel. And so the store increases the price from ten dollars to twenty dollars. Is it fair or unfair? Of white suggests that a white majority considers it fair, but many consider it unfair. I think in this case it, it is a public. Good. Since there's, there's only one store that sells the snow shovel, so it ought to,、um, for the greater good, to、uh, serve the public. Who, who disagrees? Who thinks it's fair? What do you say? I think. I think. 就算它价格再低，有些人还是没有办法有能力去购买这样的物资。Suppose let me make it a little bit harder for you. Okay. And bottled water before the typhoon, let's say, cost a dollar for a liter. And because the demand for bottled water goes up after an earthquake or after a typhoon, the store owner increases the price of water according to supply and demand to ten dollars a bottle. Is that fair? It's it's an ethical problem. And what is the ethical principle? What what is the ethical principle underlying the law of supply and demand? That when there's a shortage of a good, it should go to those who can afford it. Give the material, give the things to people who need it and who can afford it. Who and you think need alone is not enough? As a For the ethical principle. Yes. 之后，桑德尔带领大家讨论黄牛票合理与否。Whose tickets are extremely hard to get? Mayday. Is it fair or unfair? Ticket scalping for a Mayday concert. Those who think it's fair raise the white. Part of your program, those who think it's unfair, raise the orange. Well, another division of opinion. But I think, I think maybe a, a, a slight majority to those who say it's fair. Now let's take what may be a slightly harder question: ticket scalping of train tickets during the Chinese New Year. 
Now there seems to be a shift in opinion. Now I see more orange than I did before. The point is that the two things have different characteristics. First, the Five Nights at Freddy's concert. If I don't see it, I won't die. 或者说我我的生活质量可能会有些改变，但它并不是我生活的必需品。但是第二个火车票的话，这个是中国人的传统的习俗，我一定要回家。自己的牌坊，它的价格就是一种不公平的表现。Someone disagrees. Someone thinks that even scalping train tickets is fair. Tell us why. It's fair that we can have a uh, we can have a way to. Get what we need. We can pay a higher price. 那么如何你去判断他卖给你五十元钱的时候，他就是 fair 的；他他卖给你一百元的时候，他就变成不公平了。就如果如你如何去衡量这个标准呢 ？I think that the problem in China is that you can't get the ticket through standing in a line. I I was on the second one, and I still got no ticket. So yeah. it's impossible to get a ticket standing in line. <laughs> now, let me offer you a third case. Do you think it would be fair to scalp tickets to a philosophy lecture? <laughs> But as we went through the examples, the number of people who considered the market the appropriate mechanism for distributing access to the good changed. What does this tell us? about the relation between market reasoning and moral reasoning. What it seems to suggest, and this came out in some of the comments, is that whether the market is an appropriate way of allocating goods depends on the character of those goods. It seems to matter whether the good is regarded as a public good or as a private good. Sander 在演讲中提到一个耐人寻味的金钱与道德的案例。瑞士在1993年针对核废料厂址问题，对一个小村庄民调，结果有百分之五十一勉强过半的民众赞成。但是如果提出给予民众补偿金的话，同意度反而下降。Because it changed the meaning of the question. What first seemed to be a matter of civic duty, civic virtue, now became a financial transaction. People were unwilling to be bought out. In fact, they asked people who changed their minds, why did you change your mind? And they said they didn't want to be bribed. Back to the idea of a bribe. 当然，国情不同，换到别的地方，答案或许有所差异。讲座最后的讨论焦点集中在如何界定市场的权力范围。You live in a society with a lot of small shopkeepers, small shops, zahogian, and then gradually over time, Seven Eleven comes along and creates more and more stores and. Pretty soon there are a great many 7-Elevens and fewer and fewer Zahogian. Um, how many think that this is trouble? Here it looks like, well, another pretty even division, though this time I think I see a few more white than orange, but it's a pretty even if we are talking about the business, when it comes to business, for example, if I'm running the uh, Coca-Cola company, of course, all I do is all about making money. 然后这就是被那个大集团的取代以后，就是我们周围的那个消费者来说，就是小了一个选择。商店网不会把他们的资本回馈到你的
等于是社区之中，而资本会留出整个社区之外。Like the, like with some of the examples we've just been discussing, some big companies buy up a large number of those newspapers and television stations. Just hypothetically. Just hypothetically. Now, a lot of people did not object to the 7-Eleven dominating local stores. And yet, it looks like a great many people object to big companies buying the televisions and the newspapers. Who can explain? Oh, 他这样子控制住了这个媒体，他在无形之中会给人民中很大的潜移默化，而且如果他的论点单一的话，很容易失去多元的声音。I think media is itself. It is not only、uh, an agency to express the people's opinion. In nature, it is actually it works under a capitalism mechanism. It works under a market demand that. The news that is shown on TV every single day is actually what we want to see. So then it doesn't matter which which company that dominates the market,、um, the media industry, because what it will present to the audience is what we want to see. If we don't want to see it, then it follows the market mechanism. The demand drops, so they will not provide the sort of supply anymore. 两小时演讲，重点始终萦绕在市场与道德的界限。桑德引导观众思考，不下特定结论。他试图带给参与者思辨的态度以及公众对话的精神。That kind of public discourse is not easy to achieve. I think what we saw tonight, and it's thanks to you, what we saw tonight was a glimpse of what reasoned public discourse on big questions might be. Thank you all very much. We刚刚所看到的是桑德尔在台湾对两六千位学子所上的一堂课，而我对我对他个人呢进行了一整个小时的专访。我们将以两段非常长的访问为大家播出。我们先进一段广告。